Okay, let's talk about levels. Here I will talk about what are levels, how it imports to our project and how to set up our levels. First I will talk about what are levels. This is one of my ongoing project. Levels means here as it mentioned in the name levels, levels means different levels in our project. As an example, this is the ground level. Ground level means it's near ground and I refer this level to model my house. And this is the first floor level. And uh, if you need more levels, more detail in levels, you can say that this is the top level of window. And head height head height level of windows and if you need here also you can take this is the head height of first floor windows like that this level can be taken as the water tank slab level and this is for second floor base level like that you can talk about many levels when we design a model there are many levels and if you are not proposing levels we have to do all our models by refer with only one level it is very difficult and it is very complicated because of that we introduce some important levels and uh, you have to keep in your mind that if i proposed more levels it's also complicated because of that we have to propose the most important levels in our project if i open a project our first interface is like that in our project browser now you know what is project browser and how it take into your interface if you can't remember and if you cannot see the project browser in your interface you can take it in a under view tab user interfaces project browser and here I here take properties palette also under that project browser you can see that under this views if you cannot see more you have to click that cross and then floor plans ceiling plans elevations floor plans means it's difference level level 1 level 2 site like that it's just like press ground floor press floor and this is for a lower ground floor like that ceiling plants are here and elevations are here although I mentioned that uh, this is the level 1 this is level 2 like that we cannot see it how it occurs or how it appears we can check it in this elevations there are four elevations here east north south and west it means you can see that in our workspace white workspace there are four arrow shapes elements these are just like cameras they are the component which gives us the elevation views as an example if i select east it's just like this level one level two here you can see that this is four thousand and now you know how to check what's the unit of it under the manage tab project units to its millimeter in units if you need you can add the unit symbol now you can see that it's 4000 millimeter and if i select no it's also showing that levels what's that east north south west i will tell let's see i select this one and i click the delete button okay. now you can see that Autodex Revit 2020 warning view elevation north will be deleted. It means this camera or this equipment is the equipment which shows the north elevation. In generally, when I open a project, this camera or this equipment is the equipment which shows the north elevation. Generally, we take this side as north and this side as east, south, and west, like that. Now you know what are levels, how it imports then, how it occurs. Now let's see about how to set levels. I'll go to my previous project. Before doing my model, I have to plan for levels. Here, plus I think about ground level, plus floor level, and this is for second floor level, and these are for ropes. Let's see, there are a few levels. Level 1 for ground level, level 2 for first floor level this is for second floor level 
and this for roof level and this for roof level of this water tank. Our new project, we can add levels only in elevation views. Okay, I select east and the tool which we are going to use to add levels is it's under architecture tab this is level under data this is in the datum panel i see i click on this button tool level and now, now you can see that when i take my cursor near these lines there's a number showing there now it's 3700 if i click once here and you can drag and drop here you can see that now it's level 3 and the height of it is 7700 it means from the data in levels when I click on a level you can see that there are two checkboxes at the two ends and one checkbox has been checked and other one is not okay let's see what's that if you need to take that name into this end you can click that checkbox and you can take the name into this end too when I click and I want to drag this one drag this level so I click on here and I want to drag you can see that all the levels are moving here and there you can see that there are two lock symbols also there I click on that lock symbol and you can see that it seems like unlock symbol now you can see that it's moving with the law not with other levels again undo it and click on the level and you can see that it's under lock symbol and if I move this it's moving now it's moving with all the other levels as now it's locked and if I unlock it it move only the level 3 you can see that you, we can lock the levels with other levels and if I need we can unlock it like that we can add levels to your project and the tool we use to add levels is this level tool under the architecture tab datum panel here you can see that if I add levels under the level 0 these are minus levels generally the base constraint is the level we selected to do our model and the top constraint is generally unconnected you can see here that top constraint unconnected but we can select any level which will be the constraint of our model I select level 2 as the top constraint and apply it. now I draw few walls here again I'm going to see the elevations now you can see that these are the walls we created and it started with level 1 and ends with level 2 and if I create another wall and set that top, top constraint unconnected then 8000 as the unconnected height and I check it with our east elevation this is the wall I have created without any top constraint and it's unconnected and it's 8000 millimeters another thing I want to say here is when I use this east elevation this is the camera this is the camera we are using to see that wall that's why it seems like side or section view if I click this one it means north view you can see that this newly created one is like this means our view side is changing this is a 3d view to get the 3d view you can click that 3d view button in the quick access toolbar you can rotate your model by clicking shift and right click and drag it shift plus right click and drag the model then you can rotate the model these are the main things you should know about levels of Revit and uh, if there are any complex things or additional things they will meet in our next models in the future and this is enough to start a project and these are the basics of levels which uh, you should know about.